Rebecca Barnes art. Today, I, oh, I'm happy. My husband built me a dust-free zone, like a whole room. I used to have a little shelf, but my big paintings wouldn't fit on there. But now I have a whole room, which I'm gonna show you in a minute. Also, it is snowing like a bitch out there. I don't know what is going on, but there is so much snow. <laughs> okay, so this is my husband, John. And we bought these four poles that go all the way to the ceiling and some plastic. And he's going to show you how to do it. It's so easy. It literally took like 15 minutes. So the first pole was a little bit harder than all the other poles because the plastic kept falling off. But eventually he gets it. I'm funny watching him because he looks like he's all tangled up in the plastic, <laughs> but he gets it. He's moving right along now. Now he's got the second pole up. He gets the third pole and the fourth pole up, and then he staples it to the ceiling. That way no dust at all can get into my room, and he does that with a staple gun. It's quick and easy. Now, from here, he does a board on the floor to kind of weight the plastic down, and he staples the plastic to that, so it's really dust-free. So I have a few paintings that I am doing a top coat on. I sanded them down really good, and I cleaned them with alcohol. I'm going to add a little bit of gold to this purple one, and no colors at all to the other square, the two square ones that are sitting there. I'm going to show you how it's done. I am using art resin. It is a mixture of one part hardener to one part resin. I use two cups of the hardener to two cups of the resin and I will stir together for three minutes. These little cake, silicone cake stands that I use hold up my painting. That way, they hold a lot of weight. They're perfect for what I do. I was using those little triangle ones, but for, for smaller paintings, they're perfect, but not for these bigger paintings. Gotta make sure this ain't off the table here because I don't want resin all over my floor. I got enough of that. So I'm gonna be putting these on under all the paintings. Face mask time. Look at my respirator. I know it looks like <laughs> I'll be ready for like the end of the world, okay? I'll be prepared. So in a lot of my videos, I used like a little face mask um, and I noticed that when I mix the resin, all these little bubbles pop up and they fly up in the air and they can get in my eyes. Or when you heat the resin, I noticed that it smells really bad. So for my own self and my own health, I'm definitely gonna use a respirator from now on. I am pouring the resin on top of the board. This will be my final coat on each painting. It's my final layer. And if you notice, I just rub all the clear in with my glove. That gives it a nice even coat. I will go over it with a torch to make sure there's no bubbles anywhere. Hmm. 
I just thought this purple piece might need a little bit of something so I did mix up some gold like you saw and I'm applying it to my piece right now. It's very easy. You could put whatever color you want wherever you want. Now's the time if you want to um, adjust your painting in any way with darker colors or lighter colors or just a pop of gold. Now's the time to do it. I'm torching every board to make sure I get rid of all those little bubbles that come to the surface. If you don't pop those bubbles, it will cure with little pits in your painting and you don't want that to happen. So make sure you apply some heat to get rid of all those bubbles. So now I'm finishing up my paintings and they need to go into the dust free zone. I am opening the plastic right now. We have a little piece of tape that we do that with. And I have a, a shelving system in there and every shelf is lined with a piece of plastic. That way the paintings don't drip on top of each other. And I use those little plastic shot glasses to hold up the paintings. I have four on each shelf. If you liked my video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I appreciate everybody watching. God bless you all. Have a great day. Say hi, Duke.